Welcome to part number three. The following is to be used as uh, additional proof about case. I would not even call one as MK Ultra case. I would call one as a total butchery. Uh, this is more than just about having person drugged up. This is more than just about extraordinary renditions abductions, hijackings, keep one drugged up for months at a time, for months at a time, in foreign countries all over Eastern Europe, in fact globally, not only domestically in US, Canada, which I'm not citizen of Canada, I am a US citizen, naturalized US citizen in 2000, I got this slavery certificate, five years upon my arrival from Slovenia, and you can see one right here in the map, and this is exactly what type of purpose is I have served. Uh, physical abuse, anywhere from rape, beatings, threats, death threats, you name it, and all forms of other abuse. Anything that possibly can be done to a human being pretty much when he's drugged up. On a chain of proofs I already have submitted, this is to be used as additional proof for something that costed me no less than 26 years of life so the politicians could play their games. So um, I could see myself in a perverts that abused their political powers to the degree that left US Constitution, international laws and treaties simply deaf um, simply non-responsible, simply paralyzed due to corruption they have exercised on a multiple levels of organizations, governments worldwide. So the following again was recorded on August the 27, 2020. I want to add to this, over 32,000 job applications were declined to me throughout 14 year period of unemployment, of forced unemployment. And I've spent about no less than eight years on a psychiatric torture, threats, persecution, the right to file political asylum in about a dozen countries was declined to me. Just so to make things clear about what this case is all about. This is not about ice cream. Let's go. August the 27, 2020, this is yet another proof. And one was recorded in the city known as Strykov, located about 25 kilometers northeast of Luch. It depends which way you would go. One route has it 20, the other one actually 25, no actually, I'm not sure, 25 to 35, it ranges between 25 to 35 kilometers. It depends which way you would take uh, from Lodz Gorno, where I was previously uh, located. Now, I, I was very close to City of Zhgo, for which proofs, numerous proofs I also have about MK Ultra torture. Um, this was the worst terror cell right here in the Lodz Gorna. This is the stuff they were doing to me over there was, um, this was beyond bestial. So I just want to concentrate now on whatever I started on the audio recording. You are about to get numerous proofs about my presence here in this city, in the city of Strykov. As I continue it, toward the back, toward the center of the city from a gentleman who also was involved in, in this case. I could actually, I see now, I can actually even demonstrate. His residence, I see that I have actually the opportunity to, to demonstrate his, his residence here. 
This was actually right here. I did come across a group of people involved in MK Ultra, maybe more than anybody else. Those, these are the people you're gonna right here. You're gonna also hear uh, all kinds of interference. Not too far from here is also church. Cocho Svetega Marcina. Uh, you're gonna hear rings, um, bells going off during conversation with this group of people who were the most involved in this MK Ultra case and evidently most outspoken. I think they have detected that the right person finally is in town. I am very sorry I was not capable to stay more in the city of Strykov, um, in the lovely city of Strykov, where people are really lovely. In general, I like Poland very much. It's a lot of good people there. I think they're good people. I think there is a lot of a lot of goodness in, in, in these people. Um, I had to leave, but I promise I will return. When I will have a chance, I do want to come back to this city. I do want to go and meet people, see people, and celebrate something good with the people too. Not only bad news that we all had to go through, but maybe it's also time for something better to come for us in our lives. That we could see maybe something good too. Um, the following the proofs, proof wise is gonna rain on you right now. Uh, from here on I continued as you're about to hear here toward lake. And that's where more magic took place. That's where the people completely recognized me, all right? So if this here is not gonna be enough, which it will be, uh, on that other location it becomes totally irrefutable that my past was totally factual here in Strykov. We're brought for about no less than 20 years, I'm sure, but rather more than 20 years from the U.S. too. This is the highest uh, crime case. I'm not gonna even call one MK Ultra case. Also, this elites like to, I think, maybe it sounds like sophisticated MK Ultra, but this is really not sophisticated. This is butcherous, this is barbaric. This is not sophisticated case. This is brutality. This is a case about brutality, not about some kind of sophistication or something like this. And it's going to be called out as such. Involved the highest profiles, politicians. Of course, Donald Trump was like the number one the most visible cause of all these troubles that you can also see today on a political stage, but equally involved were also Joe Biden and other presidents. Uh, I will exclude Barack Obama from it. I don't think that he deserves to be seen in the picture with George W. Bush and Donald Trump. He does not fit in that picture. I want him out of that picture. I'm clearing him completely. Um, he did not have the whole overview about what went on, for one thing. Uh, Democrats did get involved late, and oftentimes those involved abuse the case for a freebies, for additional income, for additional opportunities. Uh, I don't even want to go into it. It's a sad, it's a sad story about the United States of America, what country is. Buckingham Palace, British Buckingham Palace, London, Berlin, Angela Merkel were the most prominent, frequent in the picture, but also such people as Vladimir Putin, Eastern European politicians all the time find themselves in the picture too.
So the following is here recorded in this park, Mesky, next to the church, Marcina. I say hello, good day to you. Hello, hi, tra-la-la. You want uh, smoke? Hello, hi, how are you? Who, who, who are you? Where, where, where do you live? What's going on? <laughs> this is funny. I uh, actually, I'm from Slovenia. Well, where do you live at all? Where is your quartier? Where is your room? <laughs> and uh, I deliberately go such a lot. Psychologically, I play with uh, these guys who know me, and I know them, <laughs> and I know they're there to help me out. And so what I do is I do play with them a little bit. Uh, they want to play with me, <laughs> like. Like in a funny way, hello, you know, ho ho, uh, where are you, who are you, where are your room, and stuff like this. And so what I, did, uh, what I do is, I delay and I start to talk slowly, alright, let's go. And then they start to argue. But you say that he's from Slovenia, but you don't live in Strico, right? Ah, and I take time. They, they already talk to one another uh, to answer. And so uh, they, he says, uh, you, you, you just came here, right? And say, yes, I just came here, right. I <laughs> make sure <laughs> I tell them and they, they confirm in Polish language it's August the 27th 2020 when we initiate this conversation and they know what I'm doing he's laughing and I And what I do is, as soon as I get their confirmation and smile on the face, I turn around and I say, but, and I remember you since 97. And, and he's laughing and he said, you still remember? You still remember me? He said, that is strange because 
I did not live here. Maybe coincidentally, I came here. Okay, I said, uh, when did you move from this city? Actually, when did you move to this city? Okay, the thing about it is, this is a man that always, 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 whenever he would, whenever I would appear to the city, he would make damn and sure uh, he would be in the city. In 95, he's going to tell he left, but you're about to hear why. Let's do this stuff again. Okay, it's like this. This is also not true. He used to be here in the city at least until the 96. Okay? Because we wouldn't meet. We wouldn't meet if he would be only until the 95 and he would left. We would not meet. And we definitely did meet in 96. I'm pretty sure it was in 96. Unless we were here already in 95. Uh, one more time, this one here. So, until 95, uh, I left here, then I left, and I returned just back. Um, he said that he returned, what, from... He's got some family here, whatever. I'm just thinking and thinking and thinking how I get effects together. Beautiful city, Strykov. Are you a police officer? No, I'm not. He said, nothing, nothing ever changed, nothing ever changed. And I said, ho, 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 I said, I remember everything. I said, but, but I, am, I am on your side. I said, I am completely, I agree with. Uh, city is very beautiful. It's a chunky place, a nice place to be. He said, you speak very good Polish. How long have you been in Poland? I was in the US, I said. I said, they did not destroy your life only, they destroyed mine too. I said, I said, I said, I, I, I told him, I said, but, uh, you know, I, I'm glad that you did the way you, uh, you intended to do, the way you wanted to have, the way you always wanted to have. Uh, I'm really, really pleased the way things are. 
and so you got everything here but now pay attention to the bells from the church yeah yeah I said sure everything I what about the girlfriend do you have a girlfriend not yet hey you still have a time I, I said no I, I actually don't I'm not sure if I understood this properly. Um, I said, but but you you lived here. I said you you, you lived here. It's impossible. I said, but wh where did you move to? He said, Bialystok. He said, about seven hundred kilometers from here. Now I uh, took a little bit control of it. Uh, you were here one time. I said you were. You were. You were. Hold on. Let's let's do this here. I told him you were in Warsaw. I recalled him also he was in Warsaw um, there is much more to it there was other people also uh, but this guy was from here this guy has a family here this old guy always was coming back here but I remember him I remembered him also from Warsaw and he said that is correct I also was in Warsaw and I was also in Poznan and is one more thing later on he's gonna mention Gdansk and it didn't come to me immediately but he i also was with him in gdansk this guy just listen to this but i did identify him from Warsaw. that's when he opens up and he said yes i also was in Warsaw, and i also was in gdansk uh poznan i should say he said and how come this i said his he said, how come all this? And he said, I had my company. And I said, but you don't have a company anymore? He said, no, I don't have it anymore. Uh, looking for a job, uh, relax, I will have the company. I said, what kind of company did you have? Um, well, it was welding company. Okay, so he said, I had uh, a fence. Uh, and he continues, I would weld fence and stuff like this. Uh, for instance, this here in the park. Okay, now you hear this in the park. Uh, a fence. For the park i was the one who had okay this is a big project he got 
This is a huge project, the fans for this park, for this whole park. He was the one, his company, he was the one who got awarded the contract for to place the fence in this park. So now you already know where we are, right? If it was a good year, I had 40 plus people working for me. Uh, I worked also in other locations, Poznan, Warsaw, of course. Just as you stated. You see, he recognized me, he said, like you said. Okay, the thing is, here's the thing, okay? Now we're gonna do a little bit of math here. 95, difficult, 96, I believe that he left at 96. I don't know precisely what exactly happened here. I have really no clue what exactly happened. I know that the man would keep coming back here over the years. Finally, he would start his company sometime uh, and I don't know what the man said about it. Ten years ago, they, they placed this fence here in this park, right? So now here you have the development. He didn't go in 95 and be a millionaire or anything like this. But over the time when the business people started to gather here and the city uh, gained more money and he became politically really correct. Yeah, that's how it it went that's how it went I already have spoken about what happened they eventually started to promote him and they awarded him with this kind of contract therefore you can say that either way I have no idea where the money and this and how uh, but he eventually became wealthy at one point he became wealthy at one point uh, financially he became very capable very uh, strong at one point financially and then somehow things just turned really really bad for him once he got money i also remember the people and i also know i have reminded myself why things went badly i can tell you that he faded away he faded away through a fog of drugs alcohol and stuff like this that pretty much uh he became he, he went out of control. The money was more a curse than good for him. And it was that some people determined that money's not doing any good. Not for him, not for other people. Uh, it was time to eventually, what I believe, stop him. He too got in more trouble. Uh, he always liked alcohol. But at the top of his career, just as I stated to you right now, it's what happened. He was politically correct and everything, but he had other problems. And that was just a no-no. He just didn't give the public image that authorities would want, uh, want to radiate to society, basically. And this is how they got on his tail. He recognized me, though. He said, like you stated. He was asking me if I have a five zloty for drinks and stuff. I said, I don't. I am searching for the job myself. I worked in a bar show, he says again, and so on. No doubt that this friend of mine who knew me, if we were here in 95, this was one of the first people that got involved in this case. It was quite a few of them. Um, he, want, he want me to 
you know, he just want to say, he wants, he wants to say basically, hello, buddy, how are you? Nice to see you again. I'm here. Come on. Uh, I say, yes, I know you. You know, that's, you could, you could hear him saying again in Warsaw, I also work in this and that. Um, the thing is, there is something politically correct, even more correct than he is, that prevents him basically from saying, I know you. And this, unfortunately, have happened to many of my Polish brothers and sisters. It was like something would hold them from the throat, that they were not allowed basically to say yes, of course, hello, hi. You know, uh, some only did recognize me to the point that they, that they would say, yes, I remember you. Ha, but unfortunately, uh, some were still afraid and they're just doing their best to give the recognition. He said, if I had a telephone, you would have tomorrow job. Said the other guy says no, but I have a telephone. <laughs> but you would have to do construction and stuff like this. And I have a broken spine at this point. Not a heavy job, uh, just a easy kind of work. Okay, this sirens, this is, you have no idea, but in my head, it's, it's ringing. And on top of that, I have to go again over these recordings and listen to this stuff over again so I can give it to you. Imagine. Um, I said, the lady here, she is, she became a pensioner in the year 2005 already. Yeah, she does not look like, she doesn't look like, trust me. But I said, that's what the case is with her. Because there's a whole group of people that were involved in this stuff. I remember everyone since 2005, uh, 1995, 1996. Okay, uh, the lady here, I said, she's a pensioner since 2005. Uh, she was not the only one who became a pensioner in 2005. There was two guys that became pensioners. She and the man you're about to see. This, you see this food here, this, this food here, completely food that is, hmm, how can I say? I'm gonna say this degenerated. It was not an accident that this man would suffer. You would think it's an accident or something like this. No, 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 no. It's like this. When I came with it, Chris, Chris did not believe that this man actually worked because his leg, you see this leg that you see here, that whoever this is dragging, this man, this, this older man, um, he got, he became a retiree also in 2005. Um, he would drag, literally drag his leg when walking, dragging, he would drag his leg, yet he worked in a local company. He worked in a local company and nobody, no American believed that, that this man actually worked. And so he did not suffer the accident. He was born this way. Uh, that's another fact. Uh, the lady I'm talking about right now that sits right there, they asked me, 
but where? Where did she work? I said, no, she is from here. She is from Strykov. She always was from here, from Strykov. Uh, they asked me, well, she, she, she work in Lodge? I don't know. If I would say that she worked in Lodge, I would lie. I had no idea whether she worked in Lodge. I remember that this man who had a foot like this, I'm going to go next to one, and she got retired both basically at the same time. And the guy who want me, wanted me to recognize him is now confused. He's scared that I didn't say something stupid or something like that that would actually spoil uh, his um, eagerness, basically, to, to, to help me out. Because that's what this guy wanted, to help me out badly. Because they all knew that I am recording. They all knew. You know, the whole Poland knew this, and they all prayed for me. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, oh, before I continue, he says, he talks to the lady, and the lady says, yes. And he says, yes, I did retire in 2005. He says, Gaja said, uh, that is also a correct information. So he says, so he says, so he says, she worked uh, in a lodge, uh, and you know I don't go and says yes he worked in a lodge. They already mentioned this stuff before. I'm not looking for something, some kind of a speculation or something like this. What I remember, I remember, and I tell him straight. Look, I said I don't know whether she worked in lodge or she worked here in Strykov. I have no idea, but I know that she retired herself in 2005. That's all I remember, and that is actually correct information. You know, when she when he mentioned to me this stuff, yes, I remember that she would go on a bus, I think. I don't know, they had some kind of uh, transportation that would take them. Uh, I have no idea. She would come, we would meet her, and she would wait. They would come to pick them up and stuff like this and take them. I remember this. But, you know, uh, I don't say something that I'm not 100% certain of. I don't do guessing. When I go about MKUltra, when I ask a question, it's like a 100% hit. That's one of the things that separates me. I don't guess. Now, even if somebody tried to get me into something, you will not make it because I only... Uh, you know, I might regret actually a few moments later that I did not remind myself earlier about this fact. But I'm not going to say something, an uh, answer to something that I'm not certain of. This is just the way it is. So this is yet another recognition here. Now, as I move now to the next person, to the, to the gentleman here, this is yet to the third person here. As you see, the sirens go completely mad. It's a total madness that goes off. They probably expected me to say something bad, curse them out, or whatever it is, but I'm laughing, I'm relaxed, I'm really, really relaxed. And the stuff, if you pay, if you pay, if you notice this, this is like a crucial stuff about my identifying city of Strykov. The police that is also recording this stuff, the authorities that listen to this stuff, to this group of people, what goes on between me and and then, as they start this stuff in a crucial moment, when I am identifying these people, when I go straight to the matter, uh, also understand the message here, that they am completely relaxed, despite everything, in a total control of the situation.
Okay, the gentleman that you hear that talks like that, 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 like this, this is the gentleman I am talking about. I am gonna take immediately a credit for the food as per saying that he was born with this kind of injury. He was born with a gener degenerated injury. He had always this. Okay, maybe I don't even know if he was born with it, but he had this already before 1995 this kind of a food like this degenerated food like this i strongly believe that his food that he was born like this that he had had a problem like this since birth already so this is going to be another credit i'm going to take for i have failed to ask him this question They talk about something they had meeting. They had to meet with someone and this and that. That she had to be here or whatever. This is a group of people that just they would just give anything to help me out. So they're asking about where you, where am I going? Where are you going to sleep? And they say, <laughs> and they say, and they say, uh, it's a funny way the way he asks. Uh, he said, so you're still not decided on where are you going to sleep tonight, right? He says to me, and I, I answered to him completely relaxed, you know, in a funny way. I said, uh, and, and I look at him and really, uh, you know, in, in a completely relaxed way, I answered to him, in my car is where I will sleep, in a funny way. And they're all laughing about it. Oh, now the alarm go off or whatever. I tell him I'm not going to waste my money on on the rooms. It's everything beautiful, lake here, everything. If there only would be a job. What kind of car did you came for, with? <laughs> I say, I tell him, so, uh, you know, a uh, big car, I told him, uh, known as a Škoda Felicia, old car, and they all start to laugh about it. They all know this car. 99, oh no, it's a good car, he says. They are laughing. Uh, I tell him, I tell him, uh, I barely made it to the city streak of, you know, and everybody is laughing, you know, just, as I said, it just, we just made it with the Škoda all the way to the streak of. And I told him, now it's over, it doesn't work no more, it's finished. And everybody's happy, everybody's laughing now. So everybody's laughing, saying, you bought this specially so they would bring you all the way to the circle, right? And I tell them they sold the car like this and this and that. Oh, we got another... They're actually using... Listen to this, they're actually using and, and police and fire fire vehicles. Yeah, this is this is incredible. We can go to my cousin, whatever, and um, uncle, and he's gonna fix it for half of the price for you. I said as soon as I get a job, and we do that. He'll give you a job immediately, right? But he's not going to give you. He's playing also. He says, he says to me, first, basically he's trying to say to me, first try, because you speak a really good Polish, uh, what he was trying to tell me is go, and try to get the job first and then if nothing then we're gonna do it this way i think these guys definitely would help me out these are sweethearts from 
uh, streak of but really the next day it was just this is a really really sweet place a beautiful with a lot of beautiful people uh, this is something you could call home the same thing like Lodz Gorna the same thing like the whole Lodz the same thing like the whole Poland basically uh, but the thing about it is that there was so much stuff that uh, piled up over the time that um, you know, for the sake of the people that helped me out, I felt that it was just time to go. Better to make a change and, uh, you know, take time off, stay a little bit away, clear thoughts, understand. And uh, for me, my absence was... Um, my departure from Strykov, and even so, it was very difficult. Um, it was always difficult to go from Lodz anyways. But it was, I think, one of the best decisions I have made. Also, I will be back there. I will return back, definitely. And I will return back because I made the decision to leave at the right time. This is what will secure, assure that I will return back. If you want to know why I left, uh, uh, the next day why I left Lodge, I left so I can return back, if that makes sense. That was really stupid of me, I said, if it's going to be nothing, I'm going to still go up to Glovno, because I remember we would go to, with a Trump all the way to Lovitz, Lovitz, through Glovno. Uh, and that was just a stupid thing to say if it's going to be nothing you're never supposed to say nothing because it's always going to take advantage and give you nothing actually worse than nothing so maybe this was actually a mistake I said I need job immediately you know Okay, uh, because of immigration, you know, which you have to, per law, you have to check out every 90 days if you don't have employment. And I was especially, especially on, on, on my nails. I only have few more days left, the right to stay uh, in Poland. This was a 27, and I'm not even sure. Actually, by like 5th or something like this, I would have to eventually... Uh, check out again in a Czech Republic. So I was late. My arrival to Austria was late, but in comparison to subject test subjects that would engage in exactly the same stuff prior to my arrival, they did. They evaluated everything, folks. You have no idea um, the clutch and the vehicle. I bet it's not even broken. The clutch in the vehicle, what they have done with the clutch, they have positioned one in a such a way that they have done something like this that it would that it will not function or something like this, but it's not destroyed the clutch. Yeah, you have no idea about it. Uh, what kind of a games these are. So one of the guys that uh, replaced the clutch, the Ukrainian guy, actually realized that the clutch was not destroyed. The clutch was actually close to new, few months used only, and uh, the only a slight adjustment somehow, something stuck inside of the clutch, uh, what prevented one from uh, shifting, uh, gears from shifting properly. Uh, this kind of a games is what we are talking about. You have no idea the stuff I have seen, they have done on the MK Ultra. They, they use several people, several test subjects before I actually reach this destination. It was all pro-calculated, step by step, everything they evaluated. There you go, another guy comes. Uh, another two guys come. Uh, 
I can I can get you I can get you a, a job uh, at my at my grandfather uh, at the rail at the rail he's teasing me he's teasing me he no longer is the, this no longer is the case this was the case the thing is that they called the entire group these people would probably not meet God knows for how long already the whole crew like this but when I came to the city they called one another and the whole group of people that were totally involved in my MK Ultra case over so many years over 20 years they would come to the rescue so the one guy is talking about the uncle uh, actually he's talking about the grandfather at the, that worked at the rail They are very happy to see me. They're very happy. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good evening. Now, of course, that I remember them all, but how are you gonna go and say you are from here, you are from there, you used to work here, you used to work there? It's not so simple. You know, one of the people actually, a little earlier, if you understood, asked me if I remember his last name. It doesn't work like this. You can't. This is not easy stuff. Folks, electroshocks were used ongoingly throughout MK Ultra. I did talk about something alcohol and uh, cigarettes and stuff like this who's gonna buy what whatever they're trying to get somebody buy some alcohol cigarettes or whatever About his grandpa his grandpa <laughs> his grandpa the only thing I can tell you is what are you you're gonna hear me saying I remember where he worked I remember about his work location uh, but I'm not sure whether he still worked back then as a real man um, we would go there but I think his grandpa finished his uh, rail duties um, he, he he stopped being a rail man I don't even know maybe in 2000 he goes way back 
and you're talking about some 20 years back but luckily enough for me in a little bit in just a little bit it's gonna come to me the location where he used to work now that I have no freaking idea the only thing that gets in my head is actually the road towards gears at this point and turning right at some point it was that rainy day one time this guy took me uh, and that's where you find yourself at this place at this location where his grandpa used to work but I'm not saying anything at this point he says talking to me about job do you have um, do you have um, high school I said yeah I have okay so if you have uh, if you graduated this high school I get you I get your job very easy it's not a problem He said nothing Govno, in Zgersh, in Zgersh will get you a job. Uh, he said, uh, you know, since I already was in Zgersh and I don't have the habit of coming to the place where under no circumstances would work out for me. Although I will return to Zgersh, there is no doubt about this. Uh, but still, um, you know, Zgershans as much as they wanted to help me out they they needed me to go elsewhere to get this thing done otherwise you, you know I could not get all these proofs um, I didn't want to leave Zgirsh I wanted to be around Zgirsh but you know, that was just a situation but it was very unpleasant like you have no idea for, for me to think about going back for the job to Zgirsh I mean, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, I almost cursed out. You, you, you go from everywhere looking for the job and you don't get the job. This is, this, is, this is very difficult. This is very difficult. And finally, today I understand it must have been difficult for the people who's geared to look at me like that too. This is not a easy stuff, you know. Now I say, aha, this is you, this is you. I remember you too, aha. Uh -huh. I remember you and they are laughing. No, no, the thing is that this, 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 to, to recall the person, what the person is, looks like is not enough here. When I say this, that I remember you, that means I already have a proof about you. That means that it's going to be another thing I'm going to say, basically. Because it's, it doesn't help you to say, aha, uh -huh, I remember you. And even they are smiling at you and they say, yeah, aha. Uh -huh. No, it's not enough. you got to pull something out that's going to prove that you really remember them. And that's what's coming next. Now, I'm... I'm still calibrating, I'm still making sure. I'm still talking and I'm still calibrating, thinking. It's a lot of companies here, but I want to work in a Polish company, I guess I said. A lot of American, German companies, but I would like to work for the Polish company, simple as this. And I'm still calibrating the guy. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Uh, before I even jump to this gentleman, uh, I go to the issue about the gentleman who has a leg like this 
who is dragging his head, leg. I said, you know what? The gentleman here with the leg like this, he also worked. And the other guy said, that's not a news, of course. And I said, I will tell you exactly when he retired. And I go back and I say, I think 2005, which I get another confirmation for it. Uh-oh, I did say that everybody was shocked that he worked. So I did, I did what I stated I would do. Um, it's not just like this, it's not a news. It is a news. Americans did not believe that he actually worked in a company uh, physically. Um, I was actually sure he worked in the school somewhere near mm, because of the direction he would be coming from. I always got an idea that that was the case. This I did not stated correctly he did not work in the school but i always had idea that he worked in the school he is now um consuming i assume a lot of alcohol i would say but when he was younger in 2005 still he was very sharp uh he gave a completely different impression about himself than today now in 2020 in 2005, especially in 2000, this was a very serious, uh, goal-oriented individual. Very, very, very hard-working individual, you can imagine. Totally different personality than from, um, than from what you would get an idea about one now. Uh, not easy to get yourself to work. And this man always was on time. He would get up very early in the mornings. Uh, also the other lady um, all these people I would meet them very very early in the mornings and they would go sometimes I would meet them in, in, in a cold weather so it must have been late fall or whatever maybe even winter when they would bring me and he would be just very very serious and they would rush to their work and stuff like this and sometimes I would meet them when they would, they would be returning from work in a summertime and it was really, really hot and they would sit over there and so on and, and, and talk to one another. He said in the school, in the school, he said no, it was not in the school. It was not in the school. No, no, it was not in the school. That was a mistake. I was, I was pretty damn sure that he was in a, in a school because he said no, no, he said there, there was a company next to the lake that that's where he worked at. I said, I was sure it was a school. I said, do you know what year was it? I said here 2003, but that's a mistake, I think. I don't know why I said 2003. I'm not sure.
Um, I don't know why I failed this. He, uh, It was a, it was a, it was a summer day. It was a summer day uh, when he actually carried the news around that he retired. And I'm pretty sure, you know, it was 2005. Uh, but I'm not really sure what exactly, what, what did I say here, 2003. So I figure out that she retired in 2005 and he in 2003, but. He did not answer and I don't push. I don't push anything. If they don't want to say whatever, I don't I don't push I don't push people. It's simple as that he did not answer at this point in time. This you gotta be very careful. Asking people, uh, regardless even if they're there to help you, you have to respect uh, talk about the job uh, and so on he keeps talking about telephone now I don't waste time there is more people and it's another individual picking and said you are from this street right from here somewhere and he said no 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 right here from behind you he lives here okay now I pointed the building out um, yeah since he's right here that's not exactly according to blah blah would do me any good but in a little I come with another information that he had another individual with him Stolo locator Basically, somebody who used to live with him, another male, they would live together oh, since from forever. The two were like a roommates. One would live upstairs, the other one would live below. And I say, I inquire about that individual. Where is that individual? Okay, obviously I point the side of the street where he and this and that, but that doesn't go, do good. But information I say right now, that's yet another indisputable proof. So this is a lot of stuff I have digged out of the people that with a certainty that points out knowledge, my knowledge of these people. Okay, a fact that I pointed out that he is from the street nearby, right from this area, from the street. 
also proves the fact that I recognized him. I, he could have been from other side of the town or something like this, but I pointed out that he is right from here, from this street. Okay, so this I'm gonna take another credit. Plus, I pointed out the side of the street he's from. That's a plus, it doesn't matter. If you would say that he is right from this street, the chances are that you would go and say something like this, uh, you could make a deep, deep dive into unknown. In this case, this was yet another fact I pointed out. Plus, the best is yet to come, come now. There you go, there you go. There is one more gentleman, there is one more gentleman. There is one. He is one more, he is one more that he used to live with you. And as I am not there, but I'm gonna tell you, this is the house, and I'm not sure whether he lived downstairs and the other gentleman upstairs, or was it that he lived upstairs and the other gentleman downstairs. But these two always lived in the same house. One was upstairs, the other one downstairs, and it was like a family house. So this is like with a super, super detection that I have resolved the entire group of the people. Um, let's finish this off. He says, he no longer lives. Do you know why he no longer lives? He was politically not correct. This was the gentleman who turned against the entire group. He's gonna say the car ran him over. It's not true the car ran him over. It was something else that ran him over. It was about the same thing that ran him over as the other gentleman was ran over when he was at the top of his career with 40 plus something people. It, it, it was a lot of stuff that happened, all kinds of stuff for all kinds of different reasons. Uh, but in life we have to strive toward good, towards something. We have to put some kind of effort into something. We have to prove that, yeah, that we sort of deserve to be alive. So I cannot object, I cannot go and express support for, for some kind of Nazism. This is a Eastern Europe. Uh, Americans who came here should know better. This was not the only casualty uh, Americans brought to Poland. It was numerous other people, but whatever I was, there was a lot of stuff like this that happened, all right? Uh, it was more stuff that happened in the city of Chico. It was a lot of stuff that happened wherever I would go. I told you about this stuff. Um, When did the gentleman tell me about this? Sometimes in 2010, something like this, something like that it was. I cannot point, pinpoint exactly the time and everything. So you have it, uh, this is the whole group that is actually identified. You are talking about the whole group. I pinpointed about every one of them something, or at least, almost every one of them. No, I was sure that I was still gonna stick around, but unfortunately I didn't. They say that the car ran him over. That's a possibility I'm gonna say also exists, okay? Uh, basically it's like this. The stuff, if something would happen to someone, something, um, 
I personally believe just so they would keep me at bay, so that just they would make me think whatever I'm doing, that's what I think they, they, that I would actually consider that, and I did not. It doesn't work like this. At least with me, it didn't work. Um, if something would happen to someone, probably they would also say that some kind of a bad scenario, boogie scenario they would come up with. But I still believe that this gentleman was not really ran over by the car. I don't think he was ran over by the car. Um, let's continue with this. I, I will, one time I will explain why exactly I feel that something like this could be possible, but most likely it was not. I tell them that in Slovenia it's not like this, there's police everywhere, they give you good penalties and stuff, so the people are more cautious how they operate their vehicles. You do this and they take you even a driver license in Slovenia, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I'm so sleepy at this point. I'm really happy to be here with you. We're not, and we're not happy because we are broke. Just one more thing, I said, the gentleman here, I stepped to him, I said, you, sir, in the direction of this gears, uh, two, three kilometers from here, on the right side, and that was, that applied to his grandpa, um, the railman. There was something I said. That was that's what it was. This is what it was. Am I right? And he says, "What the hell are you, a police officer or what?" No. Yes, I was right. I got another confirmation here. just a moment we do this stuff here again this is I am inquiring about a grandpa about his grandpa and he says, no, he said, this is what we had another friend. This was another another friend I had over there. Had, that means it was. This is where he would take me. So this was not a grandpa, but he would take me over there. So I made an assumption that this is, uh, this is where his grandpa used to work, basically. Uh, he says, no, this is, this is another friend we have over there. These people undoubtedly recognize me. They know me. They're basically telling me, go and get, try to get the job, basically, because that was another ocean of the stuff that I, 
the problem is I cannot work in a black market. I tell them because I need for the for the immigration I need. Okay, you did the beautiful, the city is nice, everything is nice. This is where he had me also. Boy, they had me all over the Poland, these guys. Not these guys, but they would take me almost everywhere to Poland. Okay, I say goodbye, we go apart, basically. I want to thank this guy sincerely, most sincerely I want to thank them for meeting me in the city of the Strico to give me opportunity to identify one from the first day of my arrival within just hours, basically. Let me put it this way, this audio recording that you see, everything is available. Uh, the whole thing that you see right there was reduced from like several audio recordings that consisted of about 14 hours of something audio recording to what you see right there is now 9 hours uh, with earlier about 12 hours and this still needs to be reduced before I'm going to play you. Uh, but the whole thing is available in one piece for anyone who would doubt anything about um, would have any kind of issues with credibility of the stuff that you uh, you have witnessed throughout this uh, recordings let's continue boom um, I, um, I want you to see this photo here, okay. I come from the back, 
through the rear of this uh, kebab shop here. I'm gonna magnify this picture, make it bigger like this. It says right there, Islam, originally Turetsky kebab. In the year 1998, uh, yeah, somebody in Warsaw, um, I have no idea. Was it from Turkey? Um, it's a really, really high possibility that it was even from Turkey. Chances that person was from Turkey? Uh, um, actually, I think he was not a Turk, but I think he was from somewhere near Turkey, but that he adored Turkish. So who this person was, I don't know. But I think he was not Turkish. But he gave this kebab shop once moving from Warsaw where he I met him in 1998 um, the people involved in this stuff in his um, immigration from Warsaw to Strykov involved people um, such as politicians uh, that would go as far as I think even Morawiecki they would have something to do with it. Uh, mayor of the city and so on. Somehow they wanted to bring uh, all kinds of people to the city. And they got him. This is an opportunity. The same situation as was the case with the people, I think, from Chechnya that would move to the Lodz Gorna, of which audio recordings I also have. That's basically exactly to... Um, very close to the location where I was. Why was this stuff like this? Because it talked about the racism and stuff like this. So they would start to pull the people with different uh, racial backgrounds and people with different religious uh, convictions into the areas that uh, would be predominantly Polish to reduce, um, to, to create the society more tolerant, basically toward foreigners and so on make it more uh, acceptable for the foreigners because remember this is this became more and more corporate uh, environment they knew they're gonna get Americans they're gonna get all kinds of people here investors and they want all kinds of people here they want at least somewhat this to remind of Germany some other location and so on so this gentleman find himself from Warsaw all the way right here to the street where he opened his kebab shop sometime in at least in at least year 1999 um, this his kebab shop was not like this it was just a kebab shop um, it was just a regular kebab shop um, and the hard-working man would work inside of that kebab shop and I think he was here in 98 no, I'm not kidding about this stuff. This stuff is nowhere recorded, and nobody other than police would probably, could, even the older police officer, the chief of the police station, somebody who knows that possibly the two person that is watching this stuff, hello, how are you? Uh, you can give me some extra points because you know everything about this city better than I do over the years. But here is what you alone told me, and he did too. In year 99, I estimate, or was it in 2000? Um, the racism Americans brought with them did not explode, did not detonate only through the residents of Strykov, but it did found, the hatred found its way also into the hearts of Muslim people. And this guy, uh, a society in Strykov exploded with the racist issues, have faced ostracizing. They started to discriminate. Uh, I was not the only one who discriminated against one when I was subject to MK Ultra. Listen, I call things as they are. Uh, I was not uh, a happy dude to be around with. Uh, and, and if somebody started to push some kind of issues in me, uh, I just rejected that. Uh, and it's the kind of stuff Moravieczki, Andrzej Duda involved in all this stuff, Kaczynski have looked for. They looked for emotions. They looked exactly for the kind of politics Donald Trump is projecting. These are the supporters of the fourth Trump in Poland, of the neo-Nazi, of the 
uh, really intolerant society, homophobia and, and so on. They have looked for this kind of science, actually for the proofs. They were interested in obtaining proofs of foreigners uh, willing to commit crime against either Polish people or Slavic people in general. They wanted to see from American perspective uh, on how the foreigners would view somebody from the Slavic society as let's say a Slovenian guy in Poland from I don't know Turkish perspective or some other Islamic perspective or something like this or Roma perspective they involved a lot of Roma people uh, who I actually endorse just like Jews I don't want to have absolutely nothing to do against them I actually want to get involved and stop this intolerance this kind of society and help them out uh, these people have shown if anybody demonstrated some sort of uh, accountability for their actions, if anybody acted like a sober individual, rational individual, those are the Roma people. I applaud Roma people and Roma society more than anybody. I don't care what anybody says. And this gentleman here, this gentleman unfortunately lost it. Unfortunately, he completely radicalized himself. The police department of Strykov, who first threatened me over there in front of him, sometimes, I don't know, in 2000 must have been, maybe even in 2001, I'm not sure, um, that what they do with the people like me, I don't know, what is it they do? They were not the only police department that would threaten me. Uh, <laughs> in Ostronia, near Grotniki, yeah. Uh, they told the people like me this was the Polish police and I knew immediately I knew that it was not the Russians who killed Pollocks. Once I heard from the Polish police in an abandoned old building that the guys like me, I was brought from the US and they told me we just kill people like you, we just kill them. I immediately knew it was not a Russian KGB that does it. But they blamed, hell blamed Russians for it. If you understand me, if you want to say it was Russians, think twice. Why the hell do I know it was not Russians who did this kind of stuff? I know a little bit too much about this, Mr. Kaczynski, Mr. Duda, Mr. Morawiecki, about what you did to your own Polish people in Poland. I want us, uh, we're going to go straight to the matter about who did what and who was the one blamed for it all. Um, unfortunately for this man became radicalized. I think I had something to do with it because when I was drugged up I didn't give a tree shit about anything. And before you know I think it was the health services that destroyed him. I think they took him away. And what you're about to hear next, yeah, this is the oldest, as I tell them, this, this kebab shop goes I don't know what did I say to what year. Uh, did I say, I, I don't even know what I say. I can tell you what did not come to me immediately to mind, but this kebab shop goes all the way to year at least 1999 here in Strykov. This was one of the, this was original, the first kebab shop. And what you see right there, it says Islam. This is not what the guy was at all. Because of my stuff, that I did under MK Ultra, the way I, I was, I acted like that. And I had the right to act this way, because you don't have the right to drug somebody up and mess the person with your mental issues you have, with the problems you have. You don't have the right to do this stuff. And this, unfortunately for him, he did not realize that. Um, He became radicalized and started to dream about Islam, 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 and put over there Islam on the on the corners uh, over there so that everybody would see his Islam and I don't know what. Up to date, till then, uh, the health services, the ambulance vehicles, the police officers, entire Strico will stop here to buy kebab from him. Once he became radicalized, I don't know what exactly happened. Uh, other than a lot of fight, a lot of all kinds of stuff, aggression started to develop. Uh, situation went completely out of control. That's why I told you about when I started right there. It's like God would guide me straight to that house. 
I was like, well, I did exactly the right thing. I, I just, I always act, you know, you know, like people would say, like heart tells you uh, to do it. And I just follow my own path. It's uh, somebody, invisible hand, would just guide me through the streets of Trikov to that lady right there. And I ended up here. Uh, this is just yet another confirmation I got from the new owners of the kebab shop. Now it could have been that this kebab shop, and I failed to even ask about that, resold itself in meanwhile no less than twice maybe. This was the original kebab shop, the original owner, whoever is long gone already. So this was yet another proof I got. So I tell you, I, like I told you, wherever I go, the only thing I was doing, I was collecting the proofs. Could... No, 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 let's go here. Let me see this here and let's go from here. This is about the kebab shop, all right? This is on my way back to the car. That's when I'll come across this kebab shop. Is this store, by the way, I told the lady, is this store from at least um, 2002? And the lady says, I don't know, I don't know. The original owner moved himself somewhere else. These are uh, Polish people. These are uh, Polish people, uh, and the man was the man, the original man who did uh, this kebab shop was not even Polish. He was, uh, you know, somewhere from area I indicated. Is there anything else we can do for you? No, I'm actually looking for the job. Do you have one? No. No, no, no. The, the brutal reality is the one that I stated. This is the brutal reality. Uh, it is as factual as it gets, and it goes all the way to the Varshal. My knowing this person all the way in the Varshal. This is the best of the best account anybody possibly can do it today. City of Strico Police is probably a little bit wondering about the whole thing. Yeah, maybe even 2001, yeah. The thing about it is that not everything comes to your attention immediately. Uh, but you see, over the time, it's like certain things that settle in your memory, they come from the past. A lot of stuff as you go back and forth. 
because all these memories they associate with one another it's just like this just about like a, a, the situation was about the Sergei from Belarus whom I have met the next day it doesn't come everything immediately the mind expands this is a factual account of MK Ultra folks of the memories from me being drugged up in Poland alone Well, I did my stuff too. Not that... He became insane with one word. Uh, the same thing the police was talking to me about what they're doing with the Polish people whenever they would di discriminate against him meaning that there was a whole bunch of Polish people that started to discriminate against against one what they would do is they would hospitalize them I'm gonna tell you and the city street who can tell this stuff the same thing they have done in the end to him because he in the end in all this discrimination and stuff I guess that he lost his path of common sense too uh, and folks, I'm asking you, and I said this at the beginning uh, of the part two, to please, 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 I'm asking you to please leave behind, learn from the tactics that, from the brainwash, it doesn't matter how severe this brainwash is, I told you, in this world there are politicians and there, are, there is you people, and it's always you, the people who pay the price for this stuff. Uh, it's us that are separated between in between through the lies and the only way to stop this lies is by basically bringing the people together because the people you know this is like a water that let's say it's something that would not dissolve itself you know and and it only dissolves itself in a water you know it's it's just a mass of us and once you let this thing inside it just disappears it dissipates and it's gone and that's actually what I believe is going to normalize the relationship uh, in between the nations in this world bringing the people together this is this is what I found as an ultimate solution as to all this crime to which we witness This is this is this is just a solution I came to as the only normal solution, as the only solution possible, scientifically, basically, based on what I have seen, based on what I have experienced. I'm going to put it this way. All right. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Let me see this. I'm not sure I gotta see this stuff now what's gonna happen with this yeah later on eventually I have spoken to someone else they did give me confirmation about the kebab shop I asked I don't know for 2002 or something like this no 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 it goes even further back it goes sometimes to year 99 something like this uh, and it goes all the way to 98 straight into Warsaw where it all started you know where it goes to it goes to Denbach in Warsaw it goes to the Denbach straight into the Denbach in Warsaw if you remember Mr. Yeltsin Mr. Boris Yeltsin there is a room in Denbach in Warsaw where Mr. Yeltsin was with me uh, in, in this in this immigration center uh, in Denbach in Warsaw and it's still the room reserved according for him for his for the sake of his memory and you know what this isn't for his memory this is what the Poland did the Polish state this to ensure that the proof that he was there for me literally would be preserved to today I think this is why they kept it this, it wasn't for this for the memory of Mr. Boris Yeltsin only that was there but I think it was to help me out. I think this was the wish from Boris Yeltsin. I think he wished to help me out and this is why basically that is. So this memory about this gentleman 
this kebab, Islam shop, they became an Islam shop. This goes all the way to Denbak Immigration Center. Let's go on. Okay, here you're going to hear me just basically... I am a little bit angry because when I came to Strikov, I realized that Chris was allowed to fish, he was allowed to bath himself over there, he was allowed to do anything. He could put the tent everywhere, he could do anything he wanted to do. Folks, I did not have that kind of luxury. You don't understand the stuff I have gone through. I had the stuff that American test subjects were allowed to do uh, in Poland. I could only dream of. I could only dream of. I could only dream of. There's a lot of stuff, too much stuff I have to talk about in respect to that stuff. And just so that no wonder I found, so I'm just going to cut this. The same like in Grotniki, the same as the case was around... Uh, Staviana in that street uh, right next to it was always whatever was American present you would find stuff like this you know you would find this kind of a bar and McDonald's hamburger I mean McDonald's hamburger for sale and stuff like that all right so let me let me let me let me go here okay they would do this obviously because 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 of what I stated because they would always do this kind of stuff Double standards, yeah, it doesn't matter. Whenever, wherever and whenever you would have American presence, it would always be, immediately would be hamburger, hamburger. Um, in, 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 in Lodge Gorna, where I used to live, it, it, it just a big, big ass hamburger over there would pop up over them. They would start to sell. Whatever, whatever there would be American, they would just bring the hamburger, hamburger. Yeah, and they would cash in in Grotnikach, you know, in Grotnikach. All right, let me just do this. So we're not going to be using so much map, I think, anymore. Actually, let me do this. And let me demonstrate you this here. This is really interesting stuff. The same, the same kind of stuff in Grotnika. Can you imagine? Where is this Grotnika? Grotnika is far away from Lodz, uh, from any big city. As a matter of fact, it's far away even from Zgierz. Yet in town over there in the year 2000, before 2000, over there sometimes in 98, something like this, whatever the year was, all of a sudden over there would pop up some kind of a, uh, ah, this is Zgirsh right here, like this, and as I'm zooming in, here is what we have, Grotniki, look, this is where the immigration center is. Okay, so where exactly is it? Uh, stuff I have spoken about. Well, it's actually right here. This here is the property basically where immigration is was located once i left all this property turned into a private apartments so that means to waited for me desperately to come to poland in fact i really started to believe to help me out okay um this here what you are about to see the same thing like you have just seen right right there they popped up this stuff here too there you go. Here is like a little hamburger village they created right here next to. Uh, oh, I'm trying to find this here. Well, wow, that's a whole a lot of trees now here that you can actually not even see through, and that makes things kind of a difficult. Uh, the same thing, folks. The same kind of a sign here. They started to sell. Uh, barbecue and stuff like this hamburgers and stuff right here uh, you cannot see through 
but here when it came to life here uh, all of a sudden was a mini mini hamburger re uh, place that you could come to by the way this place here Grotniki my little Grotniki here my little people from Grotniki they got hit badly with the coronavirus as soon as the coronavirus outbreak started it was immediately the outbreak severe outbreak was recorded in Grotniki so that you know that this is not something that uh, just the ordinary thing that is just not something that just would come just out of nowhere you know that the percentage even today is a, such a small possibility that something would happen like this and if you go to the map this is just a village and make no mistake it exploded in Grotniki so far away from the city like Lodz and so on and it, it started so uh, just as soon as they released the news about the coronavirus it exploded right here somewhere far away from far away from city Lodz no? far away no? so this is the way that's done Here, the account I'm giving you right now is about this place here. This thing here. This is right next to the beach here that you see. And this is the stuff I was uh, really, I didn't see really crease that he would suffer swimming here in a beautiful beach, having just simply, I'm gonna say, a wonderful time. Um, one of the most wonderful times of his life that, uh, you know, that, I don't know, that they really were serious about me, uh, they wanted me to feel bad about somebody, I mean, you must be kidding me, this was not a bad life for them at all, you know. And uh, pretty much this is also how I wanted to spend my time. And I did. I organized myself well. Here is the parking lot. Later on I parked. I moved from that parking area that you have seen on this side of the city here. Away to this side here. Now what actually give me like totally okay. Um, position uh, that I was totally fine uh, right next to the lake and there was no people there was nobody there was nothing really I was pretty much by myself I did not endanger anybody in any way but okay this stuff here is how can I say Yeah, they would allow him to camp here, basically behind the fence and a safe place and stuff like this. Yeah, put the tent down and enjoy. Go fishing, you want to fish, go fish, and so on and so forth. No, 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 not fear in any way. Okay, it doesn't matter because we got better stuff to do. This is a Mac Daddy. This is a bomb right now. This is located on this side of the lake. Right there. You see it? I can't zoom in there any further. But what you see here, this is actually really, really a Mac Daddy. This is a rock and roll baby only. What you are about to hear next. the song for my ears. Okay, this is a small bridge. Not a big bridge that you see here, but a small, like this, right here in this area here, where this tree is. 
right here it's a small little bridge this is the bridge I'm at this is the bridge I'm talking about this is 2001 this is the bridge that is going to resolve everything and all this is recorded on August the 27 2020 and I really want you to pay a close attention as I say look at it they did they did dedicate it to me they really really did they really really did it there is no doubt they did dedicate it to me You see one step to the other. Within few minutes, the whole mystery about Strickl will be resolved. Now the people eventually will totally recognize me because of this bridge here. Where the water is, where the water is, this is, where the water is, this is where I never go wrong. I never ever go wrong. This is, this is always wherever the water is, the presence of the water, this is where I do not miss anything. The bridge would not fall apart but it would really look poor compared to this thing here two thousand and one and I already have idea about everything what exactly do I have idea I don't even say anything but as I go on, I have something in my head that is going to resolve the whole thing within a few minutes now. Now, in addition to all the stuff that I have stated, nobody will be able to say. Nobody will be able to say anything about my presence here. This are cuts from the original audio recording. However, entire audio recording is available in one piece. Let me demonstrate to you this stuff. You see, to know the answer about what the old bridge used to look like means to know the answer about everything. This was a wooden bridge. Um, it did not really have to be replaced yet, but like I said, they did award me with it. Not so word made not really convincing some kind of solid stuff not like this nothing like this it wouldn't fall apart yet but it was i think time to change it yeah Do you see what I have here? This is just for the 27, August the 27, look. Okay, I'm gonna stop here.
I stated, I stated again, I stated, I stated clearly, I stated that the bridge was brought from somewhere. In fact, later on, in a little time, in a little bit more, I'm going to ask the man and he's going to confirm. I'm going to tell him, sir, in fact, this bridge was brought from somewhere. This bridge was brought from somewhere in one single piece. That's why I say basically they did award it me with the bridge. This bridge was placed on a tractor trailer and was brought in one piece from some place. And it is in one piece placed across this uh, channel. And that's why I really believe that they awarded me with this because they gave me the whole information that if you're going to tell this and then you're going to score the whole thing. And it really was brought with a tractor trailer in one piece and this is how it was placed in this place. This is why this is a very special bridge indeed. Not only the year they have changed one, but also they brought one from somewhere uh, in one piece. Now, that's a rock and roll, baby. Now, the people here know all about this stuff. They're not going to give me an answer because they're going to test me further. There is a man who's going to, however, give me an answer. All these people love me. These people could give me any one of those. These are all my friends, fishermen. Uh, all the fishermen knew me. They could give me immediately the confirmation, but they wanted me. They, they were like like a soccer player. They, they, um, they handball to another player and so on. That's how they handed me down to the last player who actually not only confirmed this kind of stuff, but I actually managed to identify him and Slovenian people from Slovenia that will come and he recognized me and so on. So this is a really, really stuff that, you know, around the water, this is where, <laughs> this is where I don't go wrong, let's say. It doesn't matter how far, how long ago. You're from Strico, right? Do you know anything about that bridge? The, the blue bridge right there. Do, do, do you know anything about that bridge? He says, no, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. So, I am a little bit like this, moody, because uh, I feel, you know, you know, you just don't want to tell me. Goodbye, thank you. I go further. I wish you the best and bye-bye. So I go and I joke uh, to the next fisherman. Is there something or is not? Do you know, sir, the, the bridge right there you have? He said, bridge? Is that bridge was placed right there in 2001st? He would not know. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. I and I go again. Yeah, you know, this is. Your will is being tested here. Your good mood is being tested again. Another one I ask. Just as I have stated. This is for the 27 here that you watch this stuff here. And then in addition to that you have for the 28. Uh, I ask you again about the bridge and this guy is just kind of annoyed as you hear. You know? He says, oh, what bridge? What bridge? And I say the bridge right there. Yeah, he says, what, which bridge? That, uh, that uh, I don't know So how you would explain uh, Kwatka. This is like, oh, yeah. Uh, let's just continue. The one here, this one. Is it 2000 first, 2000 second? I don't know. No, but he said, he said, 
he said uh, he said there was another bridge and said uh, that's right that's what I stated it was changed it was changed and he says no you see that's why you have to do even when you video record whatever is the hell you do you have to have a backup device recording everything you see this is this is why so if somebody doesn't come up and say and then they can come up they can develop the story that uh, would even sound that uh, you know that somebody else saw you when you go to the next person and this and that this stuff that I do I do it professionally very technically and for everything I state I have a backup the original files are always at hand like this here so that somebody will not come up with a stuff like this this is a very dangerous stuff you do yeah, and make no mistake these people do record they do they, they do the stuff like this uh, you would not walk around and, and talk the stuff like this for too long if you would be fake in this case they would get me already a long time ago away if I would be doing something like this Uh, I said th this 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 bridge this this whole bridge was placed on a truck and they brought this from somewhere with a truck it's an iron made bridge but when was this made 2001st 2002 I don't remember he says are you from here or you're not from here I tell the gentleman yeah, I am from Strykov. <laughs> yeah, you don't remember anything I say. I don't remember. Okay, uh, I'm going to put it this way, all right? Uh, the, 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 there was another breach prior to this one already for like 15 years, all right? He's just not answering the question that I ask because they wanted me to get to the gentleman that you're about to hear next, all right? So basically, he's given me the confirmation about this. Twenty years ago, yeah. No, so that's what I'm actually trying to get a confirmation from him. But he's all confused, and he's confusing this bridge with the bridge prior. He's not giving the information. I just, I just walked to the next gentleman instead. Listen, the gentleman a little earlier was asking me if I remember his name when I, whenever I was brought to the, to the, to the, to the streak of drugged up, subject to the drugs. He was asking me if I remember his name. And this one here would not remember when, as a fisherman from Strico, would not remember when the bridge was placed over there. You know, so, you know, you kind of lose patience with that kind of stuff. This kind of stuff also all the time happened too. There you go. The bridge was changed. He says because the one, the one prior to that was, I don't know what happened to him. So Verval. I don't know about that. I really believe they did this for me. I do believe it wasn't only the bridge they did. They changed entire area around the lake. They did the major improvements of the area too. I failed to ask about that. Um, the bridge happened to be one of the improvements too however i have to tell you this and since i have not mentioned that before the bridge just happened to be the last improvement about the lake about this lake 
you know, if I, we pay attention to this stuff here, I want you to pay close attention to this here. Okay. This, uh, the asphalt around, around the lake, this kind of stuff. And then this stuff here that you see, like a path here, this, that you see the path here around the lake in this. This is, these, are, these were the improvements they did. Uh, this is the kind of stuff they did that I remember that they were extremely, extremely proud about. They started to fix here, this area here around, uh, around the lake. All of a sudden, everything started to get really, really, really beautiful. And they told me, and, and, and you know what? They told me they brought me here. Uh, one day they brought me and we fixed this bridge now too. And this we had a truck brought. Yeah, but we was really in 2001st, something like this. Uh, we brought this with a whole truck. Uh, we brought the whole bridge and we placed the bridge here and now it's the bridge. The bridge, the bridge was, you know how the bridge looked like? The bridge looked dark. It was like a dark wood bridge. I don't know what, it was really dark wood. I don't know, was it painted? I'm not really sure, but it was a wooden and it was dark, uh, dark thing was, I remember that. It was like a dark bridge. Uh, and well, they say whatever they say that the bridge broke or something like that. I don't think, I think they broke one. I think it was something like this, they did something. So they would put this bridge on. This bridge, literally, they did. I really do believe that they did this for me, to help me out. Yeah, you have no idea what kind of stuff people did, including the governments, to help me out along the way. So one time, I would remember, anyhow, whenever I would come, if I would, you know, they were praying for me, actually, when I would come, so that I would remember the stuff. And so this is, this is the case with this bridge. So the gentleman confirms that this was changed about 20 years ago. There you go. And the gentleman not only confirms that the bridge was changed 20 years ago with exactly the type of bridge uh, I have described before it was a wooden bridge, uh, but they, he also confirms me that the bridge was brought in one piece, in one piece, which is like, how many of you would you be able to give this kind of information out if you would not have advanced knowledge about it, all right? So this is just a rock and roll, baby. This is a streak off on August the 27th, 2020, and I think it's clear throughout the entire streak off from north to south, I have identified one without a single mistake. No, well, I did a little maybe mistake here and there, but that's a real little when compared to the stuff I have stated. The amount of the correct answers will probably amount to about at least 95%. And I have given some totally, totally outrageous, strange kind of answers, uh, actually answers to a strange questions that appear to me. And this is exactly, can be confirmed according to the memory. This is not from something else. I said, I remember everything. So, I tell him, I remember everything. And I want you to hear this again, the whole conversation. Then the gentleman asked me, and where the gentleman is from? From Slovenia and so on. Okay, he would not let me go away. This is what I told you. And I said, all these people love me. They all work together. Strikov, this is a little Slovenia. And I love this place. I love the city. I love the Poland. And the thing about it is that it was so much stuff that, that piled up in me uh, that I, I started to develop 
uh, simply a resentment. Uh, you know, the people would be coming and I, I was tired, I was beaten up. Stuff that happened in Lodz was merciless. And um, I didn't want to give the wrong impression to the people. More than giving the wrong impression to the people was determination for me to return back. The only way for me to return back would be by leaving this place before I would start to develop some really inappropriate uh, issues in my head, a resentment that would keep me away basically permanently. This is why I made that quick decision, it's time to go to Czech Republic the next day, right? Because it's too many sweet people. I know that they are sweet people, they wanted to help as much as they can. And it's just not worth it, um, you know, to keep myself on toes uh, under circumstances like this. It was a lot of reasons to go, basically. And I really want to thank people of Strico for this, you know, for, how we say this, for, um, you know, for together. for community work, okay? Just as to the people of Poland. I tell him, I am from, I, I used to come from the US, they bring me from the US, Trump was here, all kinds of people here. The politicians, all kinds of stuff. All the companies you have, investors, politicians, you can see. I hope I get some job here now. There's still Slovenian company leg here. Okay, uh, I used to have a, used to rent homes, and this was this was the talk about the leg. This is what he wanted when he says about a job and stuff like this. Uh, I used, used to have Slovenian people. They used to be at my place uh, when we start to talk about the leg, Slovenian. Uh, they used to rent from me, he says. Uh, I said, where was it? He sa I said, but where, where was it? He says, uh, here in this uh, in this direction, in this in this in this place. Aha! Therefore, he said, uh, as, uh, small homes in in this direction, in this area. And I said, they used to work in a leg. And I said, aha, I said, you know what? I said, I remember them, I remember them. He says, yes. I said, I said, how not? He says, I don't remember their last names. He said, there, was, there must have been at my place about five of them. I said, I remember, I remember. And I said, are you, are you looking for an apartment someplace? Basically, I don't even know what I said. I, t I talked to you about something, whatever, uh, whatever I get the place to be, it doesn't matter to me. But to me right now, the main thing is the stuff that he mentioned about the Slovenian people. I'm like an eagle. I don't say, when I say something that I remember them, something, that's already what you can expect, the question. Otherwise, I don't know nothing. I am like that. So right here, it's already, I position myself for another, I would say, attack. 
but another proof, obtaining another proof, right? So this is when I grab. When I say something that I remember, this is not when I say, just like I've stated before, every time whenever this happened, uh, I would just circle and circle and circle around, then boom, I would go for it. And it was no different in this case again. Now the guy, I bet, he's on his toes right now. He says, yeah, and I also was in Slovenia. Yeah, he talks about um, caves in Slovenia and stuff like this. I asked him about my city, Novomis. I think he wasn't sure whether he was there or not. Not even about Ljubljana, he knew. Right. He says, I don't remember. He w I was in the caves, in the caves in Slovenia. I said, I said, but but I do remember this really, really good, right? About about this here, about the Sika, right? Now, not that I would let even for a second to get away the information he mentioned earlier about that he had a guys from Slovenia at his place. So the best is still yet to come here. He said, I would give you only 40, not 50. He said, excellent, he said. He says, they were really nice in order people. They were one year with me, he said. Okay, I made some, I'm really, really confused. What is going on? I am picture the stuff I'm trying to picture. And there's one thing in my head. The man talking to me, the rentals, he's talking about the Stazia. Uh, I, I made a mistake because of my Polish. Not quite good, not quite good. They were stationed with me for a year. Uh, I try to, 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 to clarify what he's saying. Now, what was already in my head right now is one thing, information. The little homes and one thing that I built in my head. This was right next to the road. Right next to the road, you would turn right and you would go through like a side uh, street which would go parallel to this main road and there you would stop along these homes so now I already have projected through my memory exactly what what I was trying to project through my memories what inside of the home basically uh, what inside of the homes uh, this would look like what what his the homes that he rented 
I already pictured them because these guys took me inside of those homes, what those homes look on inside. Now I asked a stupid question whether this was, uh, he, was he said Stasia. This almost felt like as it would be some kind of, you know, like you would be, no, it was nothing like this. Um, Stasia, Palif, something, gas station like this, nothing like this. It's just as I have explained, just as I have described. I did not anticipate it. those are one floor apartments, basically, uh, with, a, with a basement and with a on the top something. No, I did not anticipate that. I was sure that those are just like you know, one floor, like without anything above, right? I was sure that these are just a place you would go inside and you would have nothing above. Uh, uh, just say floor is floor. I cannot say one floor apartment, but just apartments without homes, little homes without floors. Um, and he says, no, they did have a floor, these apartments, homes, little homes. Yeah, I said, wait, wait, uh, I am calculating everything in my head I'm trying to picture before I give this another explosive final that is going to resolve everything. Now what I do is I take in my hands something that I write on the land and I do exactly what I stated. I describe the road, everything where his apartments, how they were positioned right along the road. I said, What I demonstrated to him, I made a mistake. I did not put this into the verbal. It's exactly what I have stated to you right now. This was a road, and you would turn right. You would take off from this road, and it would take you, like, not into the side street or anything, but you would drive parallel to the road. And right there, it would be this houses, these little houses, one after another, these guys would be it. This is what it was. And the guy says, cool, but he said, bitch, he said, but you do remember it. You do remember, he says. So this guy completely recognized me. I mean, I have demonstrated to him exactly what the homes looked like, where, how along the road they were positioned. I said, I cannot, it depends how you would turn, of course, of course, of course, when you drive, you will not know from, if it is this, if you drive from one side or from the other side, you will not know when you're drugged up, but you will know, you will notice, you're not going to know whether you're coming from the northbound or from the southbound, what you will know is in either situation you do turn right and you find these houses along parallel to the road that's the kind of stuff i have demonstrated in him that i do know 
but I would not know whether we were coming from the northbound or southbound. After all, I was drugged up. I mean, you can't know this, but this is yet another proof, and the guy recognizes this is a totally valid, and he remembers me. Two thousand four, I said. Okay, so I said, but this was long time ago. This was year, also year two thousand and four. It was, and I cannot remember. To like you would come from the northbound and from the southbound and this and that. And he said, exactly. He said, yes. No. He recognized me. He is laughing. He is satisfied, very satisfied with... He said, good luck, all the best to you, and we go apart, basically. Uh, I'm going to play you this one more time, and then this would be it for this recording. That's all there is, uh, basically, for this recording. Uh, I don't think there's anybody that possibly could say that, that could dispute my knowledge uh, about ability to identify city of Strykov uh, from the past. This is where I was repeatedly brought, uh, evidently since 1995. The guy said that he left in 1995 Strykov uh, then there must have been in 1995, not even in 1996 as I anticipated. As was mine, he probably is right that we did met already in 1995. Trump did have one company, maybe two, something like this, and then he religiously, religiously avoided city of Chicago for another three years. He would not allow any developers, any investors to invest, uh, to do anything, to have anything to do with the city of Chicago. For the simple reason, and that pretty much the reason for that matter, is this company here, which of course I also have identified. But this kind of stuff, all this stuff, this is going to be in the next video, this is what's going to be coming is next. Uh, there will be more stuff, more people recognize me. Uh, I have managed to identify more people. Yep, what you see, this is this Slovenian company Donald Trump was horrified of. This is what Donald Trump hated. He was obsessed with this thing here. Um, basically, 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 the thing about it is that I got an impression at Fujitsu that Polish people wanted something that they will see themselves in, um, that they would not somehow want, um, you know, they were accused of uh, prejudice literally against American businesses and stuff like this, 
at Hutchinson, at Hutchinson, Mr. Trump, you insisted that Pollocks discriminated against Americans, that they could not stand American business in Poland and stuff like this. It was this business right here, this Slovenian business, that confirmed that the only prejudiced fascist who could not handle the issues of seeing a company like this from Eastern Europe, stronger and better looking company than all of your companies you had, for quite some time in city of Strykov in Poland, it was you who could not stand that Eastern European company was like this, right in front of your own nose. That the companies you had coming could not compare and compete with this here. You were the one who was a prejudice. It was you who could not handle these issues, not the Polish people. It was nothing wrong with us all along. It was all wrong with you. I'm not saying it's anything wrong with American people either. I think the American people involved many American, most of American people were normal people. And it just, like everybody, they all, they too had a hard time dealing with you. I, you were a trouble just for everybody. Uh, that's all for this video. And then we're going to go, uh, I believe this is going to be then part number three. Thanks for watching this one.